Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Saray, and in this video we are going to be doing a plan with me for the setup, the monthly setup for the month of January 2023. So for the month of January, I'm going to be using this sticker collection from my shop. This is called Hello Winter. So it has all the different components and these are pretty much all the stickers for the most part, not every single week because I will be using some of the Crazy Ann Designs stickers in my Moxie Life for my journaling for some of the weeks in January. But for the most part, this is this is the set that I use across my, that I will use across my hourly as well as my daily planner because it has that, you know, January wintery theme and you all know that I love to stay on theme for for the month so that's what I'm going to be using so nothing major in January January really which I guess is it's good but just a couple of appointments so like on the third um on the fifth I think my husband has an appointment I think on the 22nd we'll put an appointment label and I'm going to use some of this washi to mark down a long weekend. So that would be the weekend of the 14th. Let me grab my little paper cutter, washi cutter thing from Print Pression, which I love. So I like to mark uh, long weekends like this in my planner which is great. I love long weekends. <laughs> so January is good. February is good for that too. Um, but then March, April, it starts to get a little less long weekend-ish. <laughs> and I do not like it because those seem like so, like so much longer when there isn't a long weekend in the month. So, but it's all good. Okay. So we have our long weekend down and you guys know I usually don't start with decorative the decorative portion of it but I will start with the decorative portion because I think like again January is so light in terms of what we have going on so I want to like fill it up a little bit more so but I do love this collection, a little partial, but I do love it. Notes, um, let's see. Let's see what we have. I think we'll take one of these flowers. Maybe I'll just use put it over here. Do one of these. leaves just to give it a little bit more color there we go I'm gonna need I'm gonna go with uh, I'll go with this one I love this like floral arrangements so so pretty put this one up here Um, then I might go, I might go Big Star. Put it over here. And then I think I'll put it, I'll put this one towards the, towards this side, because it's, I'm probably not going to use the full side column for that for this month so not that I ever really use it use the side the full side column but one thing that I have been using this for is also to keep notes for the following month so things that we have coming up in February that I want to be prepared for especially things that are coming up in like early February like my sister-in-law's birthdays early February um I think we have other things happening in early February, so I wanna make sure that we 
don't miss those and we're like proactive about um about those so i think i'll just i just do that so i just put this one in there on that side and i think i like that one thing i love about like making the same collection throughout multiple kits is like i have other stickers that i could use in this spread for example if i wanted to so this is the new um reformatted kit for the 2023 petite budget book um for it's this one's for like the harmony sort of book which has the boxes in the top instead of the circles but i have um obviously like these little calendars sometimes i don't use them in my budget planner but they can be used anywhere else to be like a tracker or anything like that um and i'll also these little like little icons that I've included in here. So I'm going to be using this little dollar ones um, because I might not use them in my budget planner, but I can use them here to mark um, paydays. But before I do that, I'm actually going to use a circle, one of the little dots for the 13th and then the 27th. I believe it's another payday and then I'm just gonna layer this little dollar pack here for payday which is perfect um, the other thing too is like this script I don't have a separate uh, sheet of script for next month that's something that I'm working on to add to the shop but I need one for now and I am um, I'm gonna use it I'm probably not gonna use it in my budget book but I think I may have an extra sheet actually anyway, even if I did, yeah, I do. So I, um, I can use these scripts here too. So that works out perfectly. Um, these like little dividers I can use there too. Um, that works out perfectly. <laughs> so it's all like super um, interchangeable. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it down here. And I'm going to layer next month on the top. Perfect. That way I can have this space for anything else that I want to write about this month in that space. I don't know what I did with my, oh, there it is, with my ruler. I'm always losing stuff. Okay. So you see the magic of the same kit in action. <laughs> Thing is, um, I have this sticker sheet from Erin Condren. I absolutely love these stickers and I definitely want to use them somehow in my planner. Um, and I think the colors are still somewhat complementary because it's all in like that blue, blue scheme colorway. So I'm going to use this little Happy New Year for the 1st of January. Yeah, I think it looks really good. And then when you layer with like a color with a sticker that's part of like the same color scheme, I think that it brings them together even if the colors are not exact. Okay, I'm going to be using these, these little um, dots. And I have, there's two options. There is a the uh, repositional, repositionable matte sticker sheet and then there's the permanent um clear sticker sheet so these over here are uh, transparent you know it's kind of hard to see but they are transparent like technically you could you could layer it over obviously this dark blue one it's a little bit harder to see but if i used um this one over here like to highlight that date look how perfect that looks i think that's um they're so functional for that uh, and any other day that you might want to highlight. So I'm actually going to oh, kind of try this by, by accident, by trial and error. All right, I'm a little bit cramped here today with all my, my space desk. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing for the 16th since it's a day off to highlight that day and any other day that I want to highlight. Let's see. Hmm. I think that's good. So, but I will do is I'm gonna use the mm, 
I used the dark one for recycle. Let me just double check when recycle is. It will be on the 9th and then on the 23rd. And then trash day, I'm going to use this blue one to mark trash days. I love these tweezers. They're perfect for, you know, like detailed work with stickers, like very precision work, but they're super sharp. They're super sharp. So I have to be careful. Okay, so I'm gonna start writing it in. So this would be for recycle. would be for trash day. I am pulling out my Lily Henry sticker binder and I'm going to use these little needles, not needles, or what do you call them, syringes. I have my vaccine appointment on the 3rd of January at 6 p.m. And now I'm going to use one of the Grandma's House stickers these are from planner kate i'm going to use let me see which color makes more sense to use i think i'll use this one for the 22nd because i'm planning on visiting my grandmother but i'm going to move this down so i could put this one right here Perfect. Okay, so on Thursday, Stephen has a doctor's appointment, but I already have this box here, but I don't have, I didn't have like an icon for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the little um, icon part of it. I'm just going to trim it because it's a little bit rounded, so I want the all the corners to match. So I am going to put it there so that I can repurpose that one. Show, just showing you that one just a little bit closer. So that's what I did um, for that one. So this is at 9, 9.30 a.m. I also love these arrows from Planner Kate, so I'm going to use this one for just marking the long weekend. On January 6th is my grandmother's and my grandfather's 60th wedding anniversary, so I'm just going to write it in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the medium, the medium circles from my shop, which is transparent. And then I'm going to just kind of highlight it with that here. And um, hmm. I was going to use a banner, but I don't want it to be too much, so I might just forego the banner yeah I'll forego the banner I'll just draw a little heart <laughs> there we go perfect 
thinking I'm pretty good with what I have so far, but for the month, um, based on what I know. But what I'm going to do is uh, list out just things that I want to remember this month for next month. So have my sister's birthday. All right, I think it looks pretty great overall. Um, I don't think I can't think of anything else that it's happening this month that's like major that I need to put it in my in my monthly planner. But I really love how it turned out with the whole winter vibe and being able to pull in from all these different sticker components. So very pleased with the end result so far. And of course, I will go ahead and add more to it as more things come up throughout the month. So that is my full monthly setup for January. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. If you're new to my channel, I really appreciate if you consider subscribing. I post videos every single week. Don't forget to expand the description section to review all the items that I used in this video. And um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much again for joining me for another Plan With Me video. And as always, friends, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <music>